He was the pillar of Northwest native coastal life. You know, they made their buildings out of it, canoes, boxes, just everything. The wood is highly resistant to rot. And that's an important clue because it's filled with what are called terpenoids, which are like the things in essential oils that are antifungal and they're antibacterial. So it's another evergreen tree that's good for infections and all that stuff. And in this case, we do use the needle primarily, not so much the resin. And you can just eat it just right up the tip. You can just eat this. It's fine. It's a little scratchy, but it tastes good. And yeah, so that'd be great if you had cold, flu. And this one has been shown to stimulate your immune system, especially your macrophages, like your immediate immune resistance to viruses and things. So it but also has a potential role in treating cancer. There's at least test tube support for that idea. And one little fast, last interesting sort of natural history about this is it actually, when you look at pollen records, do you guys know there's like pollen museums essentially where they've gone through layers of mud and all over the world and they show like the, how the pollens change. And that's how we know where things come from, what's native, what isn't. Well, before people got here, this was a rare tree. It was almost not seen in this area. Once people show up, it astronomically skyrockets. So we look around these woods and we think, oh, wilderness. Well, of course, this is second growth. It's all been logged. But when the, you know, the Europeans first got to, to the North America, they're all like, it's wilderness. It wasn't. It was actively managed by the native people. These trees were planted on purpose. Even though it's kind of scattered around the woods, it's not random. And lots of other medicinal plants were pretty sure it's the same issue in food plants. Like they were actually, they would burn things intentionally so that certain weeds would stay out and that the things they wanted would stay in. So it's kind of the myth of wild nature or whatever, but it, a much more sustainable way of doing it rather than just bulldozing everything.